Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome. And thank you so much for your subscribes, your likes, and your comments on my videos as well. I really appreciate that, you guys. This is gonna be a reading for my gen for uh, this is gonna be a general reading for my Sagittarius Nation. So if you are a Sagittarius or you have Sagittarius in your birth chart, your sun, moon, rising. Um, no, North No, whatever. This is going to be the reading for you. Okay, guys, please keep in mind that these are general readings. These readings may resonate with you a little bit completely or they may not resonate at all. I will be leaving my information posted down in the description box below for anybody that would like to book a personal reading. Let's go ahead and tap in and get started. Spirit, what is the energy surrounding Sagittarius today? Show me clearly, please. What does Sagittarius need to know? What does Sag need to know, Spirit? What do they not see coming? Thank you, Spirit. Mm. So we have mask, Sagittarius, okay? So be very, very mindful. There's somebody around you wearing a mask. There's somebody around you that's masquerading as a friend or a lover. Or something like that. But just the same, there's somebody around you that's hiding their real intentions, okay? That's what's going on right now. So be very mindful of that. Somebody is not the person that they seem or that the person... Somebody is not the person that they portray themselves to be, all right? They're fake as fuck. Spirit, tell me more about the energy surrounding Sagittarius, please. Show me clearly, Spirit. Thank you. So you guys have a lot of strength and you guys have a lot of wisdom, okay? So you guys have the wisdom to pinpoint out and decipher who this person is that's wearing this mask. I'm also hearing that for somebody, you already know who it is because your spirit and your intuition has been telling you that this person is fake as fuck and they don't really mean none of the shit that they say, okay? Like I said, follow your intuition. I can't make this shit up. Sagittarius, okay? And reckless actions are going to lead to conflict, all right? Sagittarius, this is you. You are the fire sign, all right? You are the Sagittarius. For some of y'all, this fake-ass person could be an Aries, a, um, a Leo, or maybe a Sagittarius like yourself, but they're fake as fuck, just the same, all right? And your intuition is trying to let you know, but however, you guys need um need to meet, make sure that you don't take on any reckless actions because it could lead to conflict, all right? So you guys are going to need to do what? You guys are need to, going to need to choose your words carefully because if you do not choose your words carefully, it's going to lead into some conflict. Not choosing your words carefully and just not putting a wash before your mouth and just saying any old thing because you're angry, that's a reckless action that's going to lead to some type of conflict, okay? And we don't need no conflict, you guys. All right, you don't need no conflict because you don't never know what, what what's gonna transpire. All right, sometimes you just got to tell a motherfucker to kiss your ass and you just got to walk away. Okay, people be fake all the motherfucking time. Okay, don't let that shit fuck up your positive energy, your love, and your light. Once this person pull this mask off, or spirit reveals to you who this person is. Quietly walk away from that person and cut that person off. There's no need for you to go off and fly off the hinges and spit box with this person and all of that shit. That shit ain't necessary sometimes. Sometimes you just got to walk away from people. All right? Spirit, tell me more about the energy surrounding Sagittarius, please. Thank you, Spirit. You see that? This is why your ass needs to wash your mouth because this is what you got coming. All right. For somebody, you already tapped into this money in your recent past. For others of you, it's on the way. That's the reason why you got to put a wash before your mouth, man. You don't want to have no reckless actions that lead to no type of conflict that might get you in trouble, man. Use your wisdom and be strong and follow your intuition. All right. Choose your words carefully, you guys. Please, please do that. Please do that. All right. Don't let nobody take you uh, to that place. Okay. Spirit, enlighten me on more about what Sagittarius needs to know, please. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, we have coffin here. So there's going to be some type of ending. For somebody, this is going to be an ending to your marriage. Is this what you don't see coming? All righty. 
Yeah, there's going to be a really big change, okay? Somebody's, there's going to be an ending to somebody's marriage because somebody has a lover on the side. And I'm also hearing that somebody got a side baby somewhere as well, okay? So there's going to be some type of ending of some sort. Somebody could be possibly dealing with a Gemini. Somebody could very well possibly be dealing with a Gemini. Y'all see that? These cards came out just like this in this order. Change. No, the coffin, and then marriage, and then change, and then lovers. So for somebody, you're getting ready to walk away from this marriage, and this marriage or this long-term relationship that seems like a marriage is getting ready to end, and then there's going to be a really big change that's going to come, and you're going to have a new lover, all right? And somebody's going to have a baby, too, with this new lover, but for others of you, your marriage is ending because your man, your husband, went and, and, and fucked around and, 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 and brought home another baby by another woman. Spirit, what else does um, Sagittarius need to know? Thank you, Spirit. You see that? We have main male here. So for somebody, there's going to be something ending with this man. This could be a husband, a boyfriend, a baby father, um, a boo thing, um, you know, a hookup, a link up, a sneaky link. The shit getting ready to be over. All right? It's finna be over. Yeah. This person caused you some type of despair. All right? You see that? For some of y'all, what you didn't see coming is that you... This person had a main female. I just told y'all I can't make this shit up. Your main man had a woman. Or you're the main female and your man went and fucked around on you and got a baby up out this shit. Okay? And that's the reason why it's getting ready to end. Because this person caused you despair. You're the main female that's in despair and having to end things with this man because he was fucking around out here. And he was either messing with his baby's mother or he was messing with somebody and she got pregnant. One of the two. That's what I'm hearing. Could be either or. Take it as it resonates, you guys. And that's the reason why Spirit is telling you that reckless actions could lead to conflict. That's why Spirit is telling you to listen to your intuition. And that's why Spirit is telling you this person is wearing a mask. Because for somebody, you don't know that this person is sleeping around and sneaking and freaking with their baby mama or something like that. You don't know that. But when you find that out, please, please, please. Be careful of what you say and choose your words wisely and don't do nothing crazy because you don't want to fuck up this right here. It's money on the table. All right. It's money on the table. Fuck the dumb shit. It's money on the table. Some shit, you just got to let it go. I know it hurt. I know. I've been there more times than, than I would like to uh, count. But at the end of the day, you got to let karma do her thing. Spirit, tell me about the energy surrounding Sagittarius. Show me clearly, please. Thank you. So you had two cards. You, you see. This person ain't shit. They're a fucking snake. They're hiding. This person is a goddamn snake. What is the mask? What is the mask this person's wearing? This is who they really are. Treacherous, cheating, envious, dog. Fucking flea bag. Not only is this person deceitful and a cheater, this person is very treacherous. Somebody could be dealing with a Scorpio, maybe a Leo, because you have the sun card here in reverse, all right? The sun card here in reverse is about an arrogant, narcissistic son of a bitch. That's, that's, that, that's what the sun card is in reverse. Somebody could be dealing with a Leo, too. This person is very arrogant. Very narcissistic, very impulsive. They don't. They could care less about your feelings. They pretend they do, but behind that mask, they really don't. This person might have love bombed you when you first met them, cause they're very narcissistic like that. So this person may have love bombed you when um, you first met them. They probably was at your every beckoning and call and shit like that, pretending. But what you don't understand is that this person is a treacherous fucking snake. They're deceitful and they're a fucking cheater and they've been cheating. Okay? They've been cheating. Spirit, tell me more about the energy surrounding Sag. Show me clearly. 
So when you end this situation with this with this person, heavy on the fire sign, like I said, this person could be a Sagittarius like you. They could be a Leo or they could be a, maybe an Aries. But just the same, there's a fire sign. Somebody is dealing with a fire sign just like themselves. But you will have victory over this. You will be resurrected from this despair, okay? You will be awakened from this despair and you will become victorious over all of this stuff that's happening to you right now, okay? Because you deserve better. You deserve better. All right? Yeah, somebody was dealing with a Libra too. This person has many options. What you don't see coming, this person has many options. This person deals with multiple women, okay? They have a lot of choices, a lot of options, and stuff like that. So this person, not only are they sleeping around on you, but this person is messing with more than one person on the side. It's like two or three people on the side, okay? They're fucking with multiple people, all right? Spirit, clarify this main meal. Why is he here and what the hell is he doing? Show me clearly. Thank you, Spirit. All right. You see that? I can't make this shit up. They're cheating. Your main man got a woman on the side. And for somebody, this man has multiple women on the side. This man has multiple women on the side. Okay? Multiple women. Multiple women. And I also just heard for some of y'all, this is one of your friends or your relatives that this person is sleeping around with. And the motherfucker that's wearing the mask is them and your friend or your relative. So for somebody, now I don't know who this is for, but for somebody, you got a friend or a relative that's sleeping with your man. Smiling in your motherfucking face and screwing your man behind your fucking back. Be mindful of that. And choose your words carefully. Because this shit will come to the light. Don't, don't, let, don't let no reckless actions lead to no conflict. Motherfuckers ain't worth it, man. They just ain't worth it. Nobody's worth it. And after you... Oh, it's heavy on the fire sign. My God. Somebody is definitely dealing with a fire sign. This person could be a Sag like you, Leo or Aries, man. But just the same. This person. So in the recent past, this person cheated on you. Okay. And what you don't know is that the person that cheated on you with one of the people or something like that. This person cheated with a family member. It was a family member. And this bitch sitting up here. Or oh, it could be a dude. It could be a bitch ass dude. It could be a bitch ass bitch. Or a bitch ass dude. But just the same. It was either your homeboy. Your homegirl. Or one of your relatives. That slept with your person. Alright. That's what's going on right now. There's some trifling motherfuckers in the world. But for somebody. This already come to pass. And for others of you. You're getting ready to walk away from this person. Because I'm looking at this coffin card here. And it's in the present time. Okay. So you recently. In your present time. Left this person behind. Because of the cheating. And it puts you in this state of despair right here. Okay. You was the main male. You was the main woman. And you're in despair. The main, the main woman. Which is you. Is in despair. Because your man. Got another woman. Or you're the main male and your main female, which is your woman that you love, is out here messing with another man. And for some of y'all, she messing with another woman. But just the same, it's some freaky, sneaky, cheating shit going on around her. And motherfuckers is going to have to pay for what they done. But these mother some of y'all, these people are going to come back to you. And want to fix it. They're going to come back to you and they're going to want to fix this. They're going to want you to, to take them back so y'all can work on it. I bet the hell not. If I was you, Sag, I'd tell them to kiss my saggy ass. That's what I would do. Because, baby, no. Motherfuckers just trifling for no motherfucking reason. This shit is sickening. It's sickening. Spirit, tell me more about the energy surrounding Sagittarius, please. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah. Somebody in your recent past, like I said, you found this shit out. This shit came to light and you became aware of this shit. 
the truth came out and you found out about this shit in your past, in the recent past. And in the future, you walked away and left this person. Okay? You walk away because you became awakened to this shit. And you came, you came to the realization that you ended things with this person. All right? That's what's going on. You end this shit. You end this shit with this person. With they stinking ass. With they trifling ass. Spirit, what else does Sagittarius need to know? Show me clearly. Yeah. You have unconditional love for this person. But this person was wearing a mask trying to pretend like they had unconditional love for you. But their unconditional love was fake as fuck. The only person that had unconditional love in this relationship, honey, was you. Not this person. This person is sneaky, freaky, a whole ass bitch, a whole ass uh, bitch ass man. That's what they are. That's what's going on right now. Yeah, you had genuine love for this person. That's why you're in so much despair right now over this shit. Because this shit done hurt you. Okay? This person is not your twin flame. This person is not your twin flame. You see that? This person is not your twin flame. This is not your person. Spirit, tell me more about what Sagittarius needs to know. Thank you, Spirit. You see that? Somebody got receipts. You got proof. And if you haven't gotten this proof yet, you're getting ready. This is coming to pass, okay? For some of y'all, this haven't come to pass yet. But you're going to get some proof. You're going to get some receipts. And it's going to make you aware. And this shit going to come to light. Okay? You got some fucking receipts. And if this haven't already happened, this is what's coming. You're going to get receipts. You're going to get proof of this infidelity. You're going to get proof of this cheating, this deceit, this treacherous whore. You're going to get proof. You're going to get proof of this shit. Y'all see that? This bitch got receipts. This going to be some Barbara, this is Shirley type of shit. Because what I'm hearing is that this woman don't know shit about you just like you didn't know anything about her. This motherfucker playing everybody. He ain't told nobody about nothing. This is the involuntary side piece. She don't know shit about you. But you're going to get some receipts and you're going to get all the proofs that you need. It's going to be proof in the pudding, baby. Because uh, sister girl going to have some receipts for you, honey. She going to show you proof. That she been sleeping with this man and she been dealing with this man and stuff like that. And you're going to come to the realization. You're going to find some shit out and it's going to come to light, honey. It's coming to light. What you do in the dark, it will always and forever come to the light. That's what people need to start understanding. All right? Let's see what else is going on. Spirit, tell me more about the energy surrounding Sagittarius, please. Enlighten me on what Sagittarius needs to know, Spirit. What do they not see coming? Show me clearly. What do they need to know, Spirit? Thank you. Double message. The page of swords came out first. Yep. In the recent past, somebody got some bad or disappointing news. And your person was being very defensive and playing mind games with you. This person is very malicious. People were gossiping about this. This person is also... um. This person is also, you don't have anything to say to this person at this moment because of this shit that you found out. But just the same, this person is mad that you don't want to fuck with them no more and deal with them anymore. For some of y'all, this is an air sign. Maybe a Gemini, an Aquarius, or a uh, Libra. And then we have the Seven of Cups here. Yeah, this person had lots of options. This person had lots of options. Multiple, multiple women that they, multiple women to choose from. Okay? They had a lot of options. There were multiple people that they was dealing with. Yeah. Multiple people they was dealing with. While you was at home with your head in the clouds thinking that this person loved you and shit like that. Hell no. This person caused a breakdown in your happiness. I have the four of wands at the bottom of the deck and it's in reverse. This person caused a breakdown in your happiness and your harmony in your home. There was a lot of tension between you and this person. There was also tensions between family members and loved ones because they don't like this person because they knew this person was no good, okay? Now, this person got you feeling unsure of who you can trust because of what they had going on. And for others of you that's just now finding out from watching this video, um, you're going to get the proof that you need. You're going to get proof that, I'm, that I didn't make this shit up, okay? Spirit, clarify the seven of cups, please. Thank you. You have the magician. 
All right, it's time to take action. And in somebody's recent past, you already have experienced this and you did take action. You did take action and you ended these things, okay? But on another note, it's time for you guys to tap into your full potential. All righty? For this right here, okay? You need to tap into your full potential without hesitation. Do not hesitate to do it. This potential is going to be in the form of a new job or a new business venture, okay? Somebody also has a new relationship coming. But for, for others of you, this is a new job and a new business venture, and it's going to bring you a whole lot of money. It's going to bring you a whole lot of money. Spirit is saying that it's time for you to take action, and it's time for you to go ahead and take action and get this shit done, and do not look back once you take this action. Spirit is saying don't look back. Do not look back, okay? Because if you miss out on this opportunity, you're going to be missing out on becoming the best you that you could possibly be. The best version of yourself is what you're going to miss out on. If you become sidetracked and look the other way and you start worrying about a bunch of bullshit, you're going to miss this opportunity. And you're going to really, really fucking regret it. So stay focused. Because this new business venture that you went out on with this new business or this new job is about to bring you a whole lot of money. All right? So be mindful of that. That's what I said. Don't let you don't let don't let your reactions lead to conflict because y'all got a lot to lose. Okay? Y'all getting ready to tap into a whole lot of money. For some of y'all, y'all have already tapped into this money. Y'all got shit to lose, all right? These people ain't worth it. They ain't they these people ain't worth the speed to take the custom. They're not worth it. Spirit, tell me more about the energy surrounding Sagittarius, please. I'm also hearing that somebody's a writer, like you write books or something like that, or you write poetry or short stories or something like that. That shit is getting ready to bring you a lot of money. You need to go on ahead and pick up that pen and start writing, sister or brother, whoever that is. I don't know who that's for, but Spirit said that somebody on here is a writer of some sort. You write scripts or you write music or you write songs or... You write stories. You're some type of writer of some sort. You write shit. And that shit gonna bring you a whole lot of money, okay? Spirit, enlighten me on what else Sagittarius needs to know. Thank you, Spirit. So we have the Ten of Cups. Conflict in the home. A lot of family conflict. Because your main had another woman. Or your, or your main had another man. All right, it's one of the two. You got to take it as it resonates. There's conflict in the home and family right now with this Ten of Cups upside down in reverse. There's a broken home. There was a lot of secrets, okay? There's a lot of disharmony. And somebody's trying to keep up appearances and pretending like everything is okay and acting like if it's not nothing wrong. But like I said before, this person is homesick because you put them out the house. And remember when I had told y'all that somebody was pregnant? Um, they had somebody pregnant or if it was a baby mama, that person that was pregnant by your person, this woman right here, her right here, this lady right here, not only was she sleeping with your man and she can prove that she was sleeping with your man, but this lady was also pregnant by your man and she had a miscarriage. She lost the baby. That's what happened. She lost the baby. The Ten of Cups here in reverse is about miscarriages as well. And I'm also picking up that for somebody, Sagittarius, you were pregnant. And all of this stress and despair that this man put you in with this situation, it caused you to have a miscarriage. And I am so fucking sorry, man. I'm so fucking sorry. People just do the fucking most to say the fucking least, man. But on another note, you guys do have the Seven of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, okay? This means that things are getting ready to come into fruitation for y'all, okay? Somebody's been working very, very hard on something and it's about to pay off. Expect great results and success. It's literally right around the corner for you, okay? You guys have been working very, very hard on something. And somebody thinking that that shit ain't going nowhere. You thinking it's stagnant? You thinking it's not going to go nowhere? Yes, it is. That success right around the corner, baby. And it's going to bring you this right here. I promise you that. Hold what you got. 
Keep doing exactly what you're doing. Don't become sidetracked and led astray by all this bullshit going on with these toxic ass, slut bucket ass people. They don't matter. Because when you tap in all this shit right here, baby, they're going to be kissing your ass, trying to come back home and work it out and work on this shit. That's what they're going to be trying to do. Spirit, clarify this Ten of Cups in reverse. You will have the last laugh. And you will be victorious in this whole entire situation. You will be coming out of this shit victorious. Clarify Ten of Cups, Spirit. Enlighten me on what Sagittarius needs to know. What do they need to know, Spirit? Thank you. The moon. Yep. The reason why you guys had all of this tension and all of this conflict and this dysfunctional shit going on in the home was because this person was hiding this shit from you. The moon is about mask. The moon is about illusion. The moon is about people selling dreams, deceiving you, and hiding shit from you. Hiding the truth from you. They're deceiving you. Selling you a dream. But like I said before, honey, what's done in the dark, what? Always comes to the light. What's done in the dark, what? Always comes to the light, honey. I can't make this shit up, y'all. I, I, I say this, I find myself saying this shit all the time. I don't just sit here and pull cards at the back of my ass and make shit up. No, I can't make none of this shit up. I can't make this shit up. Yeah, but you guys have the four of cups here at the bottom of the deck. So somebody's getting ready to have a new start. Okay, you're coming to the understanding that life isn't perfect. All right, stay positive. Stay positive so you don't miss out on the good opportunities that's waiting for you. And we just discussed... Those good opportunities that are waiting for you, okay? Spirit is saying that somebody needs to meditate. You need to be proactive and let go of people and things in your life that don't serve you no good. Let it go. Spirit, clarify the moon. Thank you, Spirit. Page of Wands in reverse. Okay? So somebody started a new project or a new business. And you're expecting it to grow at great levels and it's not going anywhere for you. And you don't think that it's going to um, really happen for you. Spirit is saying, do not waste your time dwelling on that negative shit. You need to go back to the drawing board and you need to come up with a new plan or um, you need to come up with some type of new way to get yourself out there because this is what's coming towards you. Going on back to the drawing board and try that shit again. Just because it's not looking the way that you want it to look, that don't mean that it's not going to happen or that it's not going to work. You need to create a new way to get, get to get your shit going, okay? Rome was not built in a day. Y'all, be, being an entrepreneur is not some fly-by-night type of shit, okay? It takes, it's levels to that shit, all right? It's levels to that shit. You got to have your seed money. You got to build your clientele. You have to advertise your business. You have to you have to promote your business. Like, it's going to take some time. This ain't no fly-by-night shit. Lucrative businesses, the biggest, most lucrative businesses did not become lucrative overnight. All these billion-dollar companies, these Fortune 500 companies and shit, these fucking enterprises and shit, that shit didn't happen overnight. It's levels to that shit. Stop beating yourself up, Sag. It's levels to that shit. Rome was not built in a day. Remember that. When you find yourself becoming frustrated about this shit, remember that Rome was not built in a day. Remember that. Okay? A lot of you have been suffering from emotional pain for some time. There was some sort of loss here. Like I said, somebody lost the baby. I got double clarification of a, a, a miscarriage. You guys have also been suffering from emotional pain from this badass breakup. And for some of y'all, this was a damn divorce. You had to divorce this person. Okay? Something that means so much to you ain't giving you the joy that it used to. And the reason why is because your person is seeing somebody else. Spirit, tell me more about the energy surrounding Sagittarius, please. Thank you. The Page of Cups. Yeah, so like I said, for those of you who weren't aware, in the near future, you're going to get some bad news and it's going to disappoint you a whole lot. Okay? And for some of y'all, like I told y'all, y'all got, got a family member or a friend that was sleeping with your man or sleeping with your woman. 
This is the person that's very jealous of you. This is the other snake that I saw earlier in the reading because the snake is your person and your friend or your relative that slept with your person. And this person did it because they're very jealous of you. They are so fucking jealous of you that they can't even see straight. And this person is very, very promiscuous. Okay? This person is very, very promiscuous. This person smacked in your face and screwed your man or screwed your woman behind your back because they was jealous of you. They did what they did because they was fucking jealous of you. That's what's going on right now. Somebody needs to follow their instincts. You think that something is a good idea, but you're not listening to your intuition. Spirit says, go for it. Listen to your fucking intuition. Go for what you know. If you got a passion for something, go for it. You got a new business idea, go for it. You thinking about that new job or career change, go for it. Go for it. Because why? It's going to bring you all this good old good money right here. That's why. That's why. Go for it. Spirit, clarify page of cups in reverse. Like, don't sweat the smile shit, y'all. Minus the bullshit. Life's great for y'all, Sag. Spirit, clarify page of cups in reverse. Clarify page of cups in reverse. Thank you. We have the two of wands. You see that? We have the two of wands here. This is about progression and moving forward and making good decisions, okay? Like I told y'all, this bullshit gonna come to pass, okay? That person that you got that broken communication with, that person that you broke up with, that person that you resent for doing you like that, that person that caused that imbalance in the relationship and you had to disconnect from them and that tension and shit, yeah, they resent you. They resent you because you walked away. They literally, this person is the most gaslighting, narcissistic person ever. How the fuck they gonna resent you for walking away from them and they bullshit they had going on? That's why I'm telling y'all, don't sweat the bullshit, man. Don't sweat the bullshit. These, these are things that are just hurdles for you to just jump over and pivot around to get to this right here. Bag secure, man. Fuck the dumb shit. Clarify to a wine spirit. Thank you. So we have the King of Pentacles here. Okay. Wealth. Can't make this shit up, guys. This is what you guys have coming towards you, man. I'm, I'm going to keep on putting this card right here. All right. You guys have wealth and success coming towards you. Okay. You guys are going to be bettering yourselves in every way. Okay. You're going to be work. Your, your hard work is getting ready to pay off in the near future. If you see this shit through to the end, this shit going to pay off. See it through to the end. Don't fucking quit. Don't fucking give up. And if you ain't started yet, get the fuck started. Follow your damn intuition. If it's telling you it's a good idea, man, listen to your intuition because it's going to bring y'all a whole lot of money, all right? You got the Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck, man. New beginnings, new ideas, new plans. Somebody's getting ready to have a breakthrough. Somebody's getting mental clarity on something that they've been thinking about, man. Listen to your intuition. It's about to bring you some money. You're making very smart decisions, okay? You got this. You got this, Edge. You got this. Get that shit cracking. You got it. Spirit, may I please have a piece of advice for Sage? Show me clearly what does Sage need to know. What does Sage need to know, Spirit? Thank you. Options. Can't make this shit up. You may be focusing too much on one thing or one person. That is your 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 you may be focusing on too much on one thing or one person that you're failing to see that there's other great options. Don't let this person fuck up your next options and your next moves. When one door closes, another one opens up. And that's then that's financially wise, romantically wise, period. When one door closes, another one always opens up, guys. So you guys are going to definitely have a lot of options. So just be mindful of that. I hope you guys enjoyed this message, Sagittarius. If anybody has uh, would like to book a personal reading, I'm going to leave my information down in the description box below. I speak peace, love, and light over everybody that watched this reading today. If you enjoyed this message, go ahead and hit that like button for me. If you haven't already, go ahead and uh, select subscribe for me. Peace, y'all. Y'all have a good night.